when did you actually started preparing for jee uh, well i mean studying uh, well beyond my grade since 7th acha but official jee preparation i started in 9th or 10th so you started from 9th or 10th a little a little bit serious okay, yeah. okay okay so those exams like junior science olympiad and all yeah. you've reached so, in all yeah. those so in 8th and 7th i've been preparing for those olympiads mainly so it wasn't in my mind then acha 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 you started uh, preparing when we say preparing it basically means that you started doing something apart from your school studies at the age of 7 but at that time you were not aware of the itj examination but you were studying for something else i guess or you knew that uh, maybe you want to excel uh, uh, you want to do better as compared to your classmates as compared to your peers and for that you started doing something extra but iit was not still on your mind at that time is that would that be a correct statement Yes, sir. <laughs> IIT wasn't in my mind until maybe eleven. Those exams, uh, I think you prepared for uh, mathematical Olympiads in class ninth, tenth, and uh, you also prepared for IJSO. अगर वो उन exams का preparation अगर नहीं किया होता, तो उससे क्या फर्क पड़ता जेई की preparation में? उसे क्या difference कोई student create कर पाता है? In other words, uh, is it essential to prepare for those exams uh, like? Uh, the igso exam or the kvpy exam that you did is it essential that a student should prepare for those exam if he, uh, he or she wants to clear iit do you think that well no it's not essential but for me i found that they were really really good confidence boosters so me before i cleared rmo it's very different from me as soon as i realized that i cleared rmo so that con because of that confidence i never felt A lot of pressure, even in 11th and 12th. So, so it was relaxed. In which grade uh, were you able to crack RM exam? 10th. 10th grade you were, and was that the first exam at a national level that you cracked? Yeah. So that was the first time I did something I at that level. Yeah. Confidence booster. Did you start? Was it class 10th grade? Yes, sir. NTSC and all. Would you try? NTSC, yeah, but it was a near miss for me. <laughs> <laughs> के इनका तो सब कुछ हुआ होगा ये शुरू से पढ़ रहे होंगे बट ये नियर मिस वाली स्टोरी बहुत जरूरी है एंड व्हाट अबाउट के वी पी वाई इन क्लास इलेवन के वी पी वाई आई थिंक दैट वॉज द सेकेंड बिग थिंग Since I hadn't taken biology, I spent a little extra time on that. <laughs> Class tenth <laughs> biology is asked. That is why tenth and eleventh. also yeah, eleventh. I just so eleventh का कुछ कुछ पढ़ा yeah any crash course I could find I just yes, 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 so yes. anything I found yes, okay. yeah. so KVY was kind of two twenty six rank actually showed that it was uh, kind of piece of cake. Mm-hmm. I mean it was yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that you were mentally prepared actually. Mentally prepared two months earlier. Yes, sir. I think last two months I spent yeah lots of time on tests and lots of time figuring out which mistakes I made and fixing them again and again. Cut off से ये काफी ऊपर है. Around cut off तो fifty के around ही रहा होगा, है ना? And cut off से काफी ऊपर है. तो इसका मतलब है कि वो actually KVI में यही होता है कि बच्चा पहले से mindset बना करके रखता है तो वो ज़्यादा easy हो जाती चीज़ें. So yeah, Nipun, uh, tell us about your academic journey and uh, how you are associated with Vedantu and uh, how Vedantu helped you and what capacity it helped you. So tell us about that. Okay, I think you can uh, start like from the like from the how it started. Like so, I think it's seventh grade. Vedantu. Okay, yeah. So when I heard about Vedantu, it was through some YouTube video okay. while I was preparing for INMO, okay. and I think uh, her sir, her sir was conducting a video. And I think one day at six thirty or something, I went out to play. So my cousin asks me. Uh, he just shows me this video. He says, "I think this would be a nice camp for us to attend." He was talking about some animal camp. I think the very night we went to the Chandigarh for that camp. So it was a very last minute thing. So I think yeah, that's how we first got into Vedanta. Okay. So you attended an offline camp at Chandigarh. Yes, sir. For animal. For animal. How so, long was the camp? Was the I think camp? one week. One week. And what uh, what you doing? Like what uh, you doing? Mm, we would just uh, discuss with teachers, solve some papers, okay. just interact with each other. Yeah, so. 
that's how the journey students were born? I think around six or seven. Around six or seven students were born and you were among them. Okay. And your friend also went who told you about this camp? Yeah. Okay. Your cousin. So was it a good interaction? Like did you find it uh, worthy to spend seven days there and stay there and to learn stuff? Yes sir, so that's how I, so that's when uh, the journey with Vedanta started. Uh, who were the teachers who were uh, who interacted with you during the camp? I think Abhay sir was there, Surendra sir was there, uh, then Harsh sir was there, Lohit sir was there. Yeah. That is how the journey started from INMO camp. Okay. That was the time of class 11? 10th. Grade 10th. That was the year when you cracked the RM exam. Okay, nice, nice. Yes. Yeah. And then after that, uh, how, like, uh, then uh, you came back from the camp and then in uh, any other capacity were you associated? Yeah, then, uh, yeah after that I joined the JE course. So, so whenever I wanted I could access the materials or any video recordings. So whatever I thought was needed, it was just available.